Hey everybody and welcome to another Steam Next Fest video. This is uh, video number two or game number two that we're going to play. In the first one we played Food Truck Simulator which was which was okay. You know we had some we had some good moments in it. I mean the game was laggy as hell but it was okay. And this one we're playing another food type game but with a little bit of a twist. This is called God Like Burger. And if I've read the synopsis correctly on Steam we are effectively going to be murdering our patrons and turning them into burgers to feed customers. So, I mean, sign me up. This sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, I can't seem to see my mouse. Don't tell me this is a this is a controller-based game, is it? I think this might be this might be a controller-based game. BRB. Right. Okay. The gamepad is plugged in. Let's um, see how we go. Should we have done the tutorial? Probably. But we're going to jump right in the deep end. Uh, I think we have a comic book style thing going on here. This is a man who sounds like he's missing a limb. It's already quite uh, quite bleak. Videos of days gone by. Is his previous job here? He was sacked or something. He looks like he was some kind of circus clown comedian or something that went wrong. Then he was a scientist and blew shit up. Then he was a bum living on the streets. And now he. Yeah, he's not very happy. He's sad. And did he have a family? He possibly had a family as well. He gazes out into the stars as he thinks about what he can do. And he thinks, I know what I'll do. I'll kill Grandma and put her in a burger. I mean, the sound is is working. There is no, there's no lyrics. There's no uh, captions to this at all. There's no sound, other than the music. So Grandma's given us the key to Good Burger. She given us somewhere to live as well. Did I catch that right? So he's gone to, he's gone to have a look. Has he already... No, wait. Someone, has someone killed Grandma off? I think someone's off Grandma. Can we get a sight on her shoes or something? Do we see her shoes at any point? No, we don't. Okay. I think someone's off Grandma. I think this guy might have off Grandma, actually. It's the start of his murderous reign of terror. And Captain Hook with a moustache comes in. What the fuck is that? So that, he's a really bad chef, but he's got hungry customers who don't seem to care that he can't cook. Am I if I'm reading this right? Oh, and now he's getting annoyed with somebody. Customers are getting annoyed. There's some very odd looking characters in this. How long is his comment? Oh my god, right. going on here all right so this guy gave him a choice to either cook burgers or be killed okay there's dead aliens more dead aliens loads of overdue bills nothing in the fridge several mangled corpses on the floor broken equipment <laughs> he's mincing up people's inside fuck it this is really morbid already right that's the end Okay, so he's taken over the shop. He's got in with some bad people. They've given him the keys to this shop, but they've told him he's got to murder. He's got to murder people to make his burgers. Welcome to the Good Burger Restaurant. I want to be the chef of this place, and a couple of lessons will sure come in handy. Right, so we do looks like we're doing the tutorial anyway. Okay. First customer has already made his order. And it's currently waiting for it. Let's see what information is about him. In the top left corner of the screen, new customers are added to the queue line. That went to the restaurant. You can see. Okay, right. So top left. Indicates that you are near the customer. So that's him there. Customer's order number. Health. Suspicious and annoyance. Okay. Customer's at current activity level. Is, his current activity, sorry, as he sat down. The time bar on the right is how long he's been waiting. And then the ingredients. Okay. Let's not make the first customer wait any longer. To make your first burger, go to the kitchen. Use the following controls. Okay. Right, come on then. 
Well, this is considerably less laggy than the last game we played, which is a good start. A solid 144 frames, that's what we like. In the kitchen, you can find everything you need for cooking. Let's begin with the fridge, where all the burger ingredients are kept. Burger ingredients meaning, yeah, raw meat of the people we've murdered. Okay, so... We've got that. So this is, um... It used to be a game, it was like a Flash browser-based game, I think they might have had a phone as well, called Diner Dash, which is where you would just run around serving customers, trying to cook food and serve other bits and pieces and serve drinks. So, it feels like that, but there's also a bit of Overcooked I'm detecting in this as well. With a far more grim undertone. Right. Can you smell it? The patty is fried. Now take the cooked meat out of the stove before it gets burnt, otherwise you need to put it in the trash can. Okay. Put it on the hot table module to keep it warm until you serve the burger. Which is there. Get back to the fridge and get the other ingredients. So, <laughs> fucking state of that burger. Can we zoom in? I mean, it looks like there's a giant, like, worm in the middle of it. Okay. To serve the meat, it should... <laughs> <laughs> uh, other ingredients depend on the specific order a customer has made. Take the rest of the ingredients out. Okay, right, let's get a burger. Can we, oh, we can take both. So we can carry both. The table module suddenly broke. Oh, no. Unfortunate, but any kitchen spy may break during a day of work. Hit that thing a couple of times, maybe you'll get it working again. Okay. So I can kick it while I've got things in my hand. That's helpful. When the burger is assembled, you can serve it to the customer. Take your masterpiece over to him. How do I give it to him? Oh. What, do I put it in there? How do I serve it? I don't want it to get cold. How do I... S what? Am I missing something here? What did they say was the button? What was the button for... I'm just pushing everything now, that speeds up time. I'm not sure what it is he wants me to do here. Surely it's... Is it going to give me the tutorial again? Yeah, that's fine. We've done all that. Fine. Write that in there. Right. Let's read, let's read the instructions this time, shall we? Great. Now, when the burger is assembled, you can serve it to the customer. Take your masterpiece to the order handler. Right, that didn't work last time. To serve the burger, simply attach it to the order number. Right, okay. That didn't work last time. So, so they go and get it themselves. Saves a little bit of farting around. Now, having his order, the customer will go and sit somewhere and start eating. In case you want to speed up, speed up the process, use the following controls. Should we go and watch him eat this masterpiece? Oh, he's loving it. If only he knew what was inside it. Although, looking at the state of him, I'm not sure he'd be that bothered. Oh, he loved it. He left me a $13 tip. Now he will rate your service and decide whether to tip, tip or not. Uh, so, awesome. No mistakes were made. Okay, bad. Two or more mistakes were made in the order. Or you picked the wrong meat. The customer won't give any tips. Awful. Okay, satisfactory. Okay, fine. It's about time we take a look at the very useful device called the game, uh, the guidebook. Let's open it up and check what information is inside. We have some quests. Just another space hole for criminals to hide in. No clue what you're going to do there. But here are the tasks you need to fulfill. Serve only even numbers of orders for one day. Kill five already stuffed customers. Right, so... Had... What? Once upon a time, this player is going to have suffered a terrible tragedy. Let's honour their memory with a couple of feats. Use of any machine trapped ten times. It's just all about murdering people. Kill ten customers who didn't leave tip. <laughs> Don't leave a tip. You will be killed. Don't, do not serve customers of the race Mechanian for two days. Okay. 
Right. The guidebook contains information about each customer. Oh, this was the button I was meant to press, not the up button. Let's talk about each field in detail. Name and appearance. Here we find out which body parts a meat custom and meat customer will drop after their meat processor has processed a dead body. So once we kill them, we're going to get some teeth, a tail, I'm assuming, and what's left of his face. Health number, number of health points. Karma describes how aggressive this race is. Damage race, how much damage they do, and tips, how much tips they will leave. Here you can, and here you can mark the meat type the customer would like to eat. Each race can be satisfied by up to three different types of meat. If you serve a wrong meat type, the respective customer will give you a bad rating. Can be immune to different damage, source, and traps. These can be discovered by experimenting with different ways of killing them. Observe the customer activities and add them to this section. That would help you better understand each customer's behavior. Now, when you are familiar with the guidebook, you can fill out some information and close it whenever you're ready to carry on with the tutorial. Right, so. Uh, so, like all these things. So, we have to, like some kind of detective, we have to... As soon as we see them exhibiting this type of behavior. So he, he seems to doesn't mind to eat his own his own friend. Is there anything useful in there? Okay, we're just gonna we'll roll. Right. Let's put the radio on. It looks like your customer is going to leave the restaurant. You can either wait or speed up time. Right, so do I have to do something with that now? Because he was really freaking happy? Don't think so. Right, let's speed up time a little bit. So he's going through the portal. There we go. If some customer is leaving the restaurant, you will either gain or lose prestige scale points. It depends on the quality of the burger and the service in general. However, only those customers who left the restaurant alive affect the scale. Prestige scale points offer the amount of customers which come to the restaurant and allows you to travel to new planets. Higher prestige scale means more guests. Okay. For each planet, the influence of the prestige scale will be the number of customers will be different, but they will always come from the teleporters in the parking lot. All customers in the restaurant are doing something. Smoking, dancing, ordering. They choose their own activities at random. But each race has its own preferences. You should study them to find the perfect moment to kill. Let's wait until all customers enter and decide what they want to do. Okay. We will observe from a distance and watch what they do. There's a lot of rats. Alright, where's he going? Looks like we have a freeloader here. One of the customers did not even order anything and is just watching a strip show. <laughs> Move to the VIP, VIP room and get rid of that parasite. There's the bus. It's time to teach him a lesson. Get closer to him and use the following input to kick his ass. After the customer has been kicked, he will immediately change his current activity. Also, his annoyance scale will increase and let's kick him until the annoyance scale will completely fill. Right. He's got enough for now. Look, his annoyance scale has filled completely, which means that he will leave the restaurant. The annoyance level can also be affected by poor service, restaurant malfunctions, etc. Upon reaching 100%, the customer will leave. Yeah, get the fuck out. Alright. Now you can piss off. Right, what are they doing? So is he, is he looking at art or something? I don't know if any of these things are things I should be noting. I don't see... I don't see anything on there. One's looking at a, one's looking at a fucking hand dryer. Is there just one for just generally being curious and looking at everything? Curiosity, maybe? Where's he going now? I would say that's a curiosity trait. They seem to be just doing whatever they fucking want. Yeah, it is, because I can see in the top left actually I've just noticed. As you've noticed, new customers have ordered burgers for sauce. It's a good It's good that we have a couple lying around in the fridge. 
indicates that the burger should contain sauce. There is no difference which exact sauce you use. Just put one on, and I think it. Hang on, sorry. Just put the one on you think will work best. Okay. Right, so they are being curious. So we'll whack that in there. Where's our sources? So our two sources, one is fag fag ends or cig cigarettes and one is toilet paper. <laughs> so we'll put toilet paper in that one and we'll put cigarettes in that one. Uh, shit, which one is this one? This is the one with the cheese. So this is, oh no, don't, don't, don't. Oh, it's bugged again. It won't let me do it. For sake. I'm going to have to do this entire level again, aren't I? Come on. Right, speed up. Let's get in there. Let's go and beat the shit out of this guy quickly. Yes. Right, get out of my place. Right, we know they're curious. Okay, that's saved at least. Right, so. Have I done this? Oh, wait, is. I think the order the order in which you do it is. Uh, is key. I actually do think the order in which you put the ingredients in does make a difference. Well, we'll soon find out if they think it's shit. They'll go and have a munch. Let's see what they think. A source time will start ticking next to the customer queue item. Okay, right, so they both loved their burgers. They've now got a sauce timer at the top there. So one's going to make them want to go to the loo. Yeah, and one's going to make them want to go for a smoke. First, it's the customer who's eating laxative, so laxative sauce you can find sitting in the toilet, as you may have guessed. Well, he's legging his toilet. He's in a bad way. He's in a bad way. But before the fight, let's take a look at the main stats of the chef. Your health. Uh, value each customized damage which can be found in the guidebook you can see how much damage it will be dealt to you okay stamina on cleaver swings and kicks start a fight swing your cleaver at him killed him where he sat like Tywin Lannister but you are covered in blood and there is a corpse nearby that can be bad let's take a deep breath and talk about this situation <laughs> He's actually covered in blood. And there was a corpse near you. Let's see what happened when another customer notices. Oh, Jesus. A blood-drenched chef or a corpse in the room continues, continuously increases the witness suspicion. What, they're suspicious of seeing a dead body and a chef with a meat cleaver in his hand covered in blood? That raises suspicion, does it? I can't forever, for the life of me, think why. Okay, so they either run away or panic. Okay, well, it's clear to see what he just did. He will report to the police. For that, you receive one police badge. 
This one looks tougher and more aggressive than the previous guest. Let's observe what happens when he reaches 100% suspicion. Oh, he's got four arms. A red circle around the customer indicates his danger zone. Reaching that threshold means a fight will start. Also, aggressive customers will call the police rather than run away. Okay, so he's gone in. There's a little phone booth down the bottom. So he's gone in and had a little word in there. You will get max police badges. Soon after that, the restaurant will be subject to a police raid. And then he runs away and he still runs away. If that happens, the chef will most likely be killed, and after death, all meat, money, prestige, and quest progress will be lost. You don't want that, right? So now it's time to cover your tracks. Right. Remove the corpse. A removed body does not immediately become a cutlet. First, it goes to the meat processor. Uh, you can see the processing progress in the queue line. Top left, okay. When the meat processor finishes, raw meat and other body parts will automatically go to the fridge. Next step is to wash off the blood. Use the sink. Moving on to the second customer who had the nicotine sauce. He's hanging out in the backyard smoking. Go and demonstrate how smoking may have a negative impact on your health. In order to kill customers unnoticed and without blood, it's better to use traps. We have one in the backyard. Go there and activate it. What? I don't even know what... Was that a gun? The customer is dead after an activation. Traps are on a cooldown before they can be used again. And since there's no blood on our clothes, all that's left to do is just get rid of the body. Right, okay. Well, I think I've just about got the... Oh, you know, why are we here? To the basement. This is the operation center of your restaurant. Let's see what we can find. Quest pad, newspaper, book of complaints, safe in a computer. Uh, we've got their own functions. For example, the safe will help save some of the money even after death, but right now we need the computer. You can buy ingredients, kitchen upgrades, chef upgrades, guidebook info. This is kind of deep, this game. I wasn't expecting it to be quite as deep as this. And these purchases, unlike money and meat, remain in the chefs even after death. Take a look at yourself. Decent amount of ingredients as well. Reduces the chance of any breakdowns, an extra module, the meat processor speed increases, the, okay. An extra slot to the meat processor, stove speed, and an extra stove. So we've got some extra damagey stuff. Oh, okay, so we can actually unlock all the information about some of the races. Okay. Quest C, you can find a list of tasks tied to different planets. You need to accomplish each of them to travel to a new planet. Each, Every new session, the set of quests will be generated anew, so after each death, the game will be slightly different. So where are we? Do we know which one we're at? it say which location we're at? I haven't actually seen that. Trap schematics, planet navigation, phone. We're talking about each one. We'll start with the planet navigation. Okay, now, so this tutorial is long, man. Besides completing this is going to just going to be a tutorial video, this. We also need to have enough certain amount for prestige points, enough money. Yeah, that's fine. Why even find another planet? You ask. There are some reasons. Police places have different inhabitants, wealth levels, operating expenses, and police attention. For example, if you break the law in one place, you can lie low in another until the number of badges decreases. Check out which planets are ready for your arrival. Then let's move on to the phone. So that was one of them, River Rivadonia. Okay. The phone panel allows you to pay bills. You should be aware of that because otherwise debt collectors will come to your restaurant. You can bribe the police, okay. Buy and upgrade traps. I want to grab some warmer clothes because after this panel we're going to visit the freezer room. Look, ghost moon. Look at all these things we've got. So we've just got a straight up gun. A 
terminal that will kill people. We've got a heater that will burn. A game machine that's going to electrocute people. A poison thing. A slot machine. A pole killer. That'd be funny. Did it say I had to? Did it say I had to buy something? Was it warmer clothes? It said I needed, wasn't it? Where's the warmer clothes then? Inside the freezer room you can find the following devices, the cryo capsule, the freezer and the blender. The capsule will enable you to restart the session. The freezer shows which ingredients are left in the restaurant. But for now we are interested in the blender. You prepare sources using customers' body parts as ingredients. New recipes can be purchased at the computer. Craft some nicotine. So we need two rat's tails and two teeth to do that. Right, well, I think that's the uh, the end of the tutorial. So, where are we right now? Say where we are. So, we're here in Junkum area. Where are we going to go? Let's go to Riverdonia. I oh, know, we can't go there. Alright, we can't go into any of those planets. Oh, here we go. Another long ass comic book strip. Right, lots of rats. One's found a Rubik's Cube. He's not happy because I'm assuming that's his Rubik's Cube. And that's it. The end. Thanks for coming. Right. Day one. Can we put our new wave is approaching? Right, we know they're curious. Or actually, no, let's leave it just in case it's switched. Right, we've got two rats. Let's see, let's see what they do. I don't know how much stuff have I got. How much stuff have I got in here? Oh, I've got loads of ingredients. Loads of meat parts. One nicotine ingredient. Right, one of them's smoking. One playing games as well. I think one is on the uh, game machine. Or the slot machine, right. Uh, let's... We don't know what meat he likes, right? So, we'll try with this... Try with this dude. in his order. Oh, that's, that's broken as well. Right, we'll try with Squidly Diddly here. See if you like you like the taste of him. Uh, we now need some onion. We're just going to serve this guy. You like a tomato. I don't think it actually matters. I think we've established that, that it doesn't seem to matter. You can have you can have a rat. Activities. Is going to the toilet one of them? Yes it is. Curiosity is also one. These are all the activities, right? We don't know if he's immune to anything right now. So we've given this guy we so we'll find out after they've eaten. Whether or not. So he he liked that. So does that mean that? So he's leaving. And it's just that actually, isn't it?
Not sure how that bit works. That's a little confusing. I could then I could chat as well. Ah, oh, so he didn't like he didn't like the squiddly diddly one. I don't think. I've just got to boot everything until it keeps working. So he didn't like that. Right, so it's just rat meat they like then. Uh, so this is... Oh, it's busted again. This is so irritating. I can't do anything. I don't know if it's just going to spin it. Let's just hope it's just the. Uh... Is that a symbol? Or is one of them dying? Okay, one of them is angry and has left, I think. Is that another, is that another trait? No, it's not. So it was just the burger. Oh no, that was the wrong one. Fuck. Oh well. See if we can murder death someone in a minute. So this one is order number eight. This one is order number seven. Certainly a lot f more fluid and a lot easier to play. Than the last one right we need to kill someone so this guy this but this guy's been earmarked for death we need to try and catch one of them somewhere we need some more meat Oh, he's just fucking gone in the... Oh, he's bought something so he can get in the VIP. I don't mind that. Right. He's gone to... It's a medicine table. I didn't mean to kick the rat. I just booted the rat. Right, he's about to leave. Right. Which one did I give the... Nicotine too. Might have been the one I just booted. Think it was. So this guy's just gonna stay here, is he? Ha! Ha! Send him to the processor. Oh, that was the last anyway. Two patties received, one part's received. Lovely. back in here. I think that's effectively the game, isn't it? I mean, I don't think there's a great deal point in showing you a huge amount more because I think you can now, you've got a feel for how this game's going to go, what it's going to be like. I mean, ultimately, we can go to the computer, we can upgrade stuff, but it's not going to be showing you anything more than you kind of already know is coming. So, um, yeah, whack it on your wish list. The demo is available to the 28th if you're interested. Um, thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the next one. See you soon.